This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Norton Security. Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com and in this video we're going to take a quick look at some ways to keep you and your device safe from ID theft and fraud. The first thing we'll talk about is phishing. Phishing websites are made to look like legitimate websites that you may actually use like PayPal, your banking website, or other websites like Facebook. These are generally easy to avoid. Make sure when you're browsing that you check the web address and if it doesn't look natural, don't enter your credentials. In many cases, banks and places like PayPal have official applications in the Google Play Store and you should use those whenever possible. Never sideload a banking or money application for any reason, ever. If you use the website, make sure you check and make sure you're on the actual official website before signing in. This will prevent phishing sites from stealing your financial information. Every now and then we make a boo-boo or hackers actually do figure out a way to get to our password without any wrongdoing on our part. The best way to make sure this one problem doesn't turn into many problems is to have a unique password for every website you log into. It doesn't have to be wildly different, but when you have a huge list of websites and they all have the same password, you're practically inviting hackers into your life. A good way to do this is to keep a hard copy, as in using a pen and paper, of your logins and passwords. Hackers can't steal something that isn't on your computer. Another really good option is to use a password manager like LastPass, MSecure, or Norton Identity Safe. We'll have a list of the best password managers for Android in the video description below for your reference. Shopping at reputable websites is perhaps the best advice that I can give. These places require your payment information to process orders, so it's really easy to get suckered into giving that info up on a shopping website. You should stick to sites like eBay, Amazon, Newegg, and other well-known and well-vetted shopping websites. If you're wondering if a site is reputable, Google search them. If someone has been scammed, chances are that information is available somewhere, and you can easily find it if you search for it. It's also true that many reputable shopping websites have applications that are available in the Google Play Store that are about as safe as you can possibly get when you're shopping online. We recommend that you use those and, like the banking apps, never ever sideload a shopping application. We'll have a list of reputable shopping apps in the video description below. Not divulging too much info on your social media pages is more good advice. Never ever post details about your banking info, credit cards, or any sensitive information. A lot of people make this mistake and it has cost them a lot. Just be cautious, your friends on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter don't need a picture of your new credit card. The only people who do need that info are identity thieves, so don't post anything ridiculous. I cannot stress enough that you should never do things like banking or shopping while you're on a public Wi-Fi network. When you're at home, you're almost certainly okay, but at places like cafes, airports, and other sources of public Wi-Fi, there may be untrustworthy people trying to sniff at your packets. Packet sniffers have the ability to monitor web traffic over a specific network. So let's say there's a packet sniffer at the airport. That person can see everything that everyone is doing when they're connected to the airport's Wi-Fi. This is very bad, and things like passwords and banking info can easily be intercepted. Save your shopping and banking for when you're on a secure data connection. A lot of people would recommend something like a VPN application for these kinds of instances, but frankly, if you can, you should definitely wait. A lot of the Android elite look down their nose at things like antivirus applications because if you're careful, you don't really need one, but for those of us who don't want to think about these things all day long, an antivirus application can go a long way to protecting you behind the scenes without you having to worry about it so much. A good one to try out is Norton Security. Their antivirus suite includes all the basic stuff like antivirus and anti-theft, but they also have features that prevent fraudulent sites from accessing your data, as well as the ability to lock your phone remotely or even wipe it remotely in case it's stolen so that no one can get at your personal information and steal it. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com. While you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day. This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Norton Security.